Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the reading for the sign of Gemini for the week of July 10th to 17th, 2022. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so you may or may not resonate with this reading. If you do not resonate, please do not try to deliberately fit in. Check in your any other placement, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. Also, if you want to book a personal reading, the link is in the description below. You can also follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description below. Let's get started with your reading. What are the current energies? What are the current energies? Let's see what are the current energies? What are the current energies? What are the current energies? Let's see. For Gemini. All right, the sun. Happiness around all over. What else? What are you happy about? Nine of Pentacles. Oh, you are having some financial abundance. You, Some of you might have even... It's very less chances, but this Nine of Pentacles with the Sun, I cannot not say this. You, Some of you have won a lottery. Like, a US lottery in some ways, in some different ways. Like, you never expected you get a job in some company. You never expected this project will turn out in your favor. And out of the blue, it just turned out to be in your favor. That's what happened, you know. All right, what else? <laughs> these 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 cards like make me giggle. Like something happy is happening around with some of the you know at least someone is happy right now with finances and all with the money matters. All right, what else? Seven of Swords. Hmm. With a smile. With a smile, leaving some place. All right, and this is what what the hell happened? I believe. Uh, you had to betray some of your friends to get such kind of finances approved for yourself. Hmm. With the high priestess being here, you you are like doubting whether you did the right thing or not. I can say that you are doub doubting. You want some assurance or some uh, words from other people that yes, you did the right thing. Let it be this way. Don't think about it much. You know and what else one more thing one more card queen of cups hmm you some of you are happy about it i will say emotionally also happy that things turns out to be in your favor but even though you betrayed your people or your person or your friends whomsoever all right all right let's start with your love life let's start with your love life let's start with the love life all right I will be doing a mini Celtic card spread. So let's get started with your reading. What is going on in the love life? What is going on in the love life for Gemini? All right, six of wands. Problem, queen of wands. Strength. Oh, three of swords. Wow, wow, the lovers. Some of you are dealing with another Gemini. All right, final outcome, four of cups. And the blockage, eight of cups. And overall energy, nine of wands. Hmm. So it was a heartbreaking situation for some of you in the past with the three of swords being present here. Some of you in the right, in the right now situation in the current situation some of you are trying to manifest a marriage or commitment or a proposal or engagement from your person because this is a general reading so it could be something concrete but it cannot be on a one significant event like i will say marriage everyone is not looking for marriage right now so with six of wands i have to keep in mind like this could be any kind of commitment in any form like marriage proposal like uh, whatever it is, you know, you can understand, just understand the energies that are being emitted through Six of Wands in your current life. The base of this is very strong. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. It's strength. It's very strong. The base of this relationship is very strong, I will say. Uh, the only problem is with the Eight of Cups here. Why the Eight of Cups is here? Why the hell is it here? Why there is a detachment? Why there is a det detachment here? let's find out all right let's clarify let's start clarifying let's clarify the six of wands let us clarify the six of wands let's clarify the six of wands let's clarify the six of wands all right 
Hmm. Six of Wands being clarified by the Knight of Wands, King of Cups, and the Hermit. You know, this energy that you're emitting right now, <laughs> it's very like, uh, I don't know what uh, the word is for the person who cannot be physically involved with someone un unless they're emotionally involved with them. I, can, I, I don't remember the, you know, the term for the, this kind of personality. Please let me know in the comments. I'm forgetting that this kind of personality that one cannot get involved physically with someone until unless they are emotionally involved with the person. So you want to do that. In short, what you are feeling right now with Six of Wands, you want to do that. But the Hermit being present here is it's delaying that part. <laughs> this this Hermit is delaying that part, I can say. And let's 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 dive deeper. Let's clarify the Nine of Wands, the overall energy with Seven of Wands, alright. With the judgment and the Eight of Pentacles. It's like hmm working hard a lot but at what cost it's like you know you want to make your way out of this situation it's like you feel stuck you are trying to build yourself a better future but you feel stuck in the process like you know what you want ultimately but you don't know the process whom you will lose if you will lose yourself in the process you want to come out of this situation of not knowing or not be clear about the things. All right, let's clarify Eight of Cups. It's bothering me a lot. The Justice, the Five of Pentacles and the Magician in this card also wanted to come out with the Five of Swords. Wow. Wow. With this person being present like Eight of Cups. This is definitely not you. This is this blockage is through the person. I, I can definitely say that. You know, Huh. this person that you are dealing with have the tendency of leaving you out in the blue and then behave in a manner in the next day like you were the one they play a blame blame game towards you like because of your actions i had to do this because of your wrongdoings i had to do this this is the game they try to play with you for sure all right let's clarify the three of swords what happened in the past why is there a three of swords here Six of Pentacles, Four of Cups, with the King of Pentacles. Commitment. When the commitment part was about to be confirmed in your relationship, that's when they started giving you breadcrumbs. I can say that. While you were waiting, that they will give you commitment, they will give you whatever kind of things that you expect because you were expecting a physical relationship with them when they give the commitment or the emotional involvement part and it is not happening anytime it did not happen in the past and it broke your heart i can say that i can say that for sure it broke your heart and you could not see that uh, that commitment in your relationship all right let's clarify the lovers for the immediate future the eight of wands all right knight of pentacles some of you are dealing with a leo uh some of you are dealing with aries leo and sag all right Taurus Virgo Capricorn is here. All right. So communication, it will take a lot or of strength, I will say, a courage to call, to communicate, to be clear what you want. You know, this commitment part is becoming a problem in your life. You're thinking too much about it. With Eight of Wands and Knight of Pentacles and then Strength with the Lover's card being here, uh, this energy that you emit here, it's going to get clarified here. I can definitely see that. Your person will try their best to get involved with you in some ways that will satisfy you. <laughs> I cannot be more clear about it if you understand what I want to say. <laughs> All right, what is going to happen in the immediate view, uh, in the ultimate with the four of cups, uh, three of wands, ten of cups. And the king of wands. You know, uh, let me show you the four of cups. Yeah. Uh, it's like they will be offering you 
some great deals but you will still be stuck with that you know one thing that you are not getting from them they will be offering you happy life happy married life happy wife or husband out of them but you are still like we will can't we do this before that i have to do this with you how could i be sure before uh doing that that i want you <laughs> you have it that kind of energy these days all right that let's let's find out what are the messages from the universe for you let's find out what are the messages from the universe for you let's find out what are the messages from the universe for you oh sorry sorry i i did not clarify the strength the base of the relationship let me clarify the base the a oh the eight of swords six of cups and the world oh god it's like you know some people were waiting for you or for this relationship to end and they were quite enjoying their part being a witness of uh, this relationship to end they definitely were you know expecting this to end like uh and it did not happen like you showed them that what kind of potentials you have like things were not moving smooth in the f in the you know in the beginning but then things were going very well for you things started going very well the base became strong like you earlier thought that this is not the right decision for me to be with this person people are also laughing about us that situation is not good but eventually ultimately it all turned out to be very well for you all right let's find out what are the messages from the universe for you let's find out what are the messages from the universe for you all right let's see what are the messages from the universe for you lead your metamorphosis raw intention choose who you are becoming i will say with this card keep a track on your thoughts what you are thinking your mentality keep it positive do not try to make it shift towards negative things raw intentions be careful what you think about be very careful about what you think about it's very difficult for one to be focused on what they are thinking and yeah it can definitely destroy some of your you know time if you are not careful what you are you know planning or proposing to do in the future yeah lead your metamorphosis like you know your intentions should be very clear what you want what you not want it should be clear when you move forward in your life all right that's it for the reading thank you